Kahaloyim, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai. Before we open up, we want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakat Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to all you beautiful brothers out there that's laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, we're just going to go into a quick little lesson on um, adultery. Um, you know, basically, uh, the reason why I want to do this lesson is because, you know, women got it in their mind that, you know, they can put away men. You know, they can divorce their man and be divorced from them. The only way that they can be divorced their men is uh, uh, through the system of Esau. If they was legally married, Esau allows them to come down to the courthouse, you know what I'm saying, and file up, you know, divorce papers or whatever. That's the only way. But in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, you know, they still, you know, married to their to their husbands, man. You know, they don't have the right, you know, to uh, put away their husband. As a matter of fact, uh, hold on, let me find this one scripture. If you can, Baba Kusha, I, send, I think it's in Sirach, chapter uh, 36. It says when a, um, when a man uh, find of himself, uh, 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 I'm butchering it up, roughly paraphrasing. When a man get a, get a wife, he gives himself a possession, something like that. Roughly paraphrasing, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because uh, because the uh, the woman she belongs to that to that man, you know, she becomes his possession, you know, a possession can't you know um, can't you know just decide that it don't want to be there no more if it belongs to someone. Okay. Go ahead, read that, brother. This is Sirach chapter thirty six, and it starts at uh, twenty four. He that getteth a wife beginneth. Salakia, go up a couple of verses. Uh, I think it's, uh, where you at? It's Rock 36 and 24. 24. Uh, yeah, you can get, you can start at 22. That's cool. Sirach, go ahead. Sirach, uh, chapter 36, verse 22. Mm -hmm. The beauty of a woman cheereth the countenance, and a man loveth nothing better. Ha, go ahead. If there be kindness, meekness, and comfort in her tongue, then is not her husband like other men? He that getteth a wife be beginneth a possession. Right. He that giveth uh, get her the wife giveth a possession. And that's the point, you know. She, the man never belongs to the woman. The woman belongs to the man. I mean, we she do in a sense, but but uh, she is his possession. She belongs to him. She does not have a right, you know what I'm saying, to put away her husband. Grab Romans 7 and um, 2 real quick. There's a little more to it. Oh, so like it. Go ahead. It Go ahead. says, um, a help like unto himself mm -hmm. and a pillar of rest. Ooh, kind. Right, right. Go ahead, brother. It says, where no hedge is, there the possession is spoiled, and he that hath no wife will wander up and down mourning. Right, Khan, because the wife is supposed to be a help. That, that was the reason why she was created, you know, for the man, not the man for her. She was, she was made to be his help, you know, and she's supposed to be his pillar of rest. He's supposed to be able to come home from a long, hard day, get a nice cold, uh, drink, you know, a uh, hot bath and, and, and hot food. And he's supposed to be able to get the pleasure to come with sleep, you know, with no complaining. He's supposed to be able to get his back rubbed, man. She's supposed to be uh, his stress reliever, you know, after fighting and dealing with this wicked world every day, you know. But these women, they ain't doing that, man. They putting hell on these men, on these Israelite men, on you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American uh, uh, Indians, Okay. Is there more to that? Go ahead. You got the Romans 7 and uh, 2. This is Romans chapter 7, verse 2. Mm -hmm. And it reads, For the woman... Let me start at the top. Well, you can. You can. Go ahead. Romans chapter 7. It says, Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law hath dominion over a man as long as he liveth. For the woman 
which have the husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he living. Come on, right. She's bound to the law, man. You know, as long as her husband is living, you know, that that uh that woman belongs to that man. Because their uh their spirits uh, uh became uh one one flesh. Going back to what Yahweh Shah said in the book of Matthews, matter of fact, hold that and go to uh Matthews uh nineteen and uh, I want to say three. See Matthew's nineteen and three. Come. Okay. This is Matthew's chapter nineteen, verse three. It says the Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, "It is, it is, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause?" And he answered and said unto them, "Have ye not read that that which that he which made them at the beginning made them male and, and female and said for this cause shall a man leave father and mother mm -hmm. and shall cleave to his wife and they twain shall be one flesh right and they twain shall become one flesh meaning that they come together you know uh, um, having sex in sex that's actually what constitutes marriage sex is marriage okay go ahead finish it says, Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. Where, what therefore the power hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Right, kind. You know, men, men can't, uh, ain't supposed to uh, uh, put their wife away like that, man. As a matter of fact, read down. It's going to go into it a little bit more. <laughs> they said to him, Why did Moses then give command to give a right enough divorcement mm -hmm. and to put her away he said to, to them because he said to them moses because of the hardness of your hearts suffered you to put away your wives but from the beginning it was not so and i say unto you whosoever shall put away his wife except it be for fornication and shall marry another committeth adultery right con because look you know, the reason why he said you have heart in your hearts is because that's what happened in the, in the land of Israel, man. Uh, So-called Negroes, Latino, Native American Indians, uh, uh, you went off um, sinning against the Heavenly Father, man. It was a, it was spiritual, too. You know, you, you, you went off breaking the law, statutes, and commandments, committing adultery, putting away your wife and causing your wife, you know what I'm saying, to commit adultery by, you know, uh, putting her away. Then she eventually going to get with another dude, man. You know, yeah, Go ahead. yeah. Actually, uh, man, happy with uh, Moses made a law about that because you know there was men that would slander their wives, and uh, you know from them slandering their wives, saying oh she wasn't a virgin when I found her, and that was, and that's why the that's why the parents kept the token so they can prove that hey she was a virgin. Right. You know, men was doing that back then. You know, kind. They, yep. they bringing evil upon Israel, and that man would get uh beat up, and then he had to pay a fine. After he uh got punished, but um keep reading it says, it says, uh, uh, shall marry another committeth adultery, mm -hmm. and whoso marrieth her which is put away doeth commit adultery. That's right. So yeah, so because yeah, you put her away, you also gonna commit adultery, because that's what was going on in that time. A lot of uh you Jakes was putting away your wives, man, without a cause, man, and then other men was getting with them, and then you was getting with other men's women. And, and it's still to this it, to this day, you know, still to this very day right now, you know, in, this, in the nation of Israel committing adultery. That's why the Lord called this a wicked, adulterous generation. As a matter of fact, can you get that real quick in the book of um, what, Mark? Mark 8 and 38? Yeah, Con. Con, this is Mark chapter 8, verse 38. Mm -hmm. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation... Of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Right, kind. Now the Lord is going to be ashamed of you because a lot of you are ashamed of this word, man. You're, you're ashamed of the gospel. You know, you're, you're rejecting it, man. You're rejecting the uh, gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Here it is. The Lord is telling you that you are being adulterous, you know, and, uh, and, you, and you still are being adulterous. Go back to that uh, uh, Romans um, 7 and 2. We're going to finish that and then close up with that.
It said, for the woman mm-hmm. which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband. Right, she's bound to the law by her husband. That means she can't be going to, you know, put him away, uh, divorcing him, and going to go get her another man. You know, because she's going to go, if she go go get another man, she's going to be guilty of what? Adultery. Go ahead. It says, but if he, if, if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. Right. If only, only way she can be loosed from that law is if, a, if she become a widower. She become a widower, then she's free to marry, to be, be married to somebody else. Is it more? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is, this is a woman seven and three. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But mm-hmm. if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Right, Con, because her, her husband ain't here, man. He, he is dead, so there's, therefore there will be no offense. You know, his spirit won't be here no more. His spirit will be in the spirit world. You know, but if she connecting... You know, with some other man, she still got his spirit bound to her spirit, to her spirit. And then getting with another man, his spirit, and then another man, his spirit, and another man, his spirit, and so on and so on. And that's what's going on right now in the nation of Israel. You know, it's a bunch of adultery that's going on. That's why you got all these STDs out here. All these people out here sick because it's judgment from the Heavenly Father, man. You know, mainly because of Esau, up on the Esau's uh, system. It gives these uh, Israelite women, um, you know, liberties to guide abroad, man, to go off and do whatever they want to do, you know. And also, you know, you got wicked Israelite men too out here committing adultery, laying around and sleeping around other men's wives, man. And adultery is punishable by death. Do you know what that law is? Get that real quick, Baba Kusha. And then we'll close up with that one, with the law. This is uh, Leviticus chapter 20, mm-hmm. verse 10. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Right, kind. And that's, you know, hey, we're we not in our land right now in the nation of Israel where we can actually carry out this law. You know, if we ca- caught you, you know, committing adultery, we can take you to the end of the city and stone you to death. Right, right now we in uh we scattered in the four corners of the earth. So the heavenly father is judging you on another level, man. He's judging you with, with diseases like AIDS and herpes and, and gonorrhea and syphilis. All of these different diseases you're being judged with now, man. The heavenly father's doing it. You know? Well some some in some cases the heavenly father uh, allowed a man to catch you in the act. And he, he might put the uh the spirit of uh of vengeance on you, on that man, and have that man take you out right there and there. There's been cases where, where uh, the Jake, done, they didn't found women chopped up in suitcases in the alley, or uh, they didn't found them in a, in a uh, lake or a river, drowned, you know, or some dude, random dude, he shot in the head somewhere. It's all because of adultery, man. That's the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. Because that's what our people was into, man, being wicked. The scriptures called this place an adulterous generation, man. That's right, kind. And, you know. I was watching a brother who was going into, uh, you know, if if dealing with a bisexual woman who has a boy, a uh, 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 girlfriend, is that committing adultery? And that's crazy because we're in the land of Babylon, man, which is the land of confusion. That's confusion, man. This place is confusion. And, and, with, and within this place, man, they all of us, if you're not a eunuch, which is basically a virgin eunuch, a man that has not had a woman, then you've committed adultery in this place. Because this place got us all defiled, man. That's why our righteousness is as filthy rags in this place, man. That's a beautiful point, Khan. We can't be all the way uh, holy in this place. Cause get, we don't we don't fail into the system of Esau. Get to uh, Matthew's uh, twelve and um, what was that? Twelve and thirty-nine. 39. Yeah, Khan. This is Matthew chapter twelve. But that don't mean willfully sin because you not already you already committed adultery. Like you know, like uh, the brother was saying, man, hey, this is that's the thing we gotta repent from, man. Right, like when you know better, you do better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Understanding, you know what adultery really is. You know, then you 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 refrain from that. You know. 
Okay. I, actually, you can go back into uh. Well, no, nah, we gonna close up after this. Go ahead. Matthew twelve and thirty nine. Mm-hmm. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seek after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with his generation and shall condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonas. And behold, a greater than Jonas is here. Come. Huh. Keep going. Yeah, read on. The queen of the south shall rise up in, in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through that's, dry... That's it right there. The point is made really basically. Um, and the reason why you're not going to get that sign is because you're already getting a sign. You're getting a sign. The Lord got the men of the Lord set up in the highways and the byways, bringing out this word, sounding an alarm, blowing a trumpet to you. You know, and that's the only reason why they wanted the sign. It goes back to back to uh, um, when they was uh, uh, sinning willfully, you know, and then making sacrifices. And the Most High was like, I don't want your sacrifices no more. That, that's why you're not going to get no, you. The Lord already given you the sign. He's giving it to you, man, through the prophets, through the men of the Lord uh, out here. Preaching to you, trying to wake you up, you know. But we only out here for the elect, anyway. You getting a sign, and the reason why you're not uh, not gonna receive it, because the Lord blinded a lot of Israel, man. The nation of Israel has been blinded, you know. Um, the, the, you, the only sign you're gonna get is uh, those missiles coming. The Lord said He's gonna come like a thief in the night, and the reason why is because. You're supposed to be trying to get right right now, man. You're supposed to be paying attention, but you, you can't. Uh, you got something else? No. With that, I give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, double on, I'm slack you. We're going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and our uh, and our elders. A great meal song. Peace and salutations to your Akium out here that's laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.